Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another PSVR 2 Let's Play. I'm Miles Dyer, and today we are in the world of Beat the Beat. I think there might be something to do with beats in this. Don't know. The title just gives it a slight clue. Um, but I hope you're all doing good. I can hear everyone in the live chat in my ears right now. I've just been doing some workouts uh, behind the scenes, warming up, because often when I play these physical VR games, I just go straight into it and I always regret it the next day. So I am warmed up, I have a, a watch on so you can see my heart rate. And yeah, I played a little bit of this uh, a week or two ago, just a quick test. Um, but I'm gonna be going into the tutorial uh, and going back from the beginning. Um, but yeah, this looks really, really good in the headset. And on a personal note, I'm feeling a bit depressed today. The world is, uh, it can be a terrible place at times and it can get a bit overwhelming and I thought, you know what? What better way to beat off those blues than with a nice VR rhythm game. A bit of escapism, an injection of endorphins and a wonderful, uh, a wonderful community to be playing with. I just heard someone say uh, that they, are, they finally can watch a Let's Play because there won't be any spoilers in this. Yeah, there's been a lot of games I've played lately that might spoil a bit but this is gonna be a good one so thank you everyone for joining me um we're gonna jump straight into this so um there we go right we got so i've unlocked a couple of these i've actually not played the full songs yet i don't think but welcome i mean this is super cool look at this we're gonna do the basic moves here we go i love this character How's the volume, people? I've turned it up in my headset. The haptics are really good in this game. And when you dodge out the way like that... <laughs> and I like that you have to wait until the blocks are... You know, they brighten up. Oh! Cuts. When you first play the tutorial, it actually does explain these, but I've done it already. But it should be self explanatory. You have these basic ones, the hooks, and then the ones that you dodge on. <laughs> Nick says he's found his way to the gun show. Can't wait for the summer. To deal with my pasty arms. There we go. Woo. I mean, I love the aesthetics. Right, it won't let me uh, do that one, so I guess I've got to come back to it. Let's go with this. Drowning in the lost emotion Crying like some kind of ocean from my eyes 
The haptics are really good. I always talk about the nuances that you can achieve with haptics. You know, really nice textures. And they've got it here. And the resolution's great. I love that. <laughs> you could help pace. <laughs> the haptics in the headset when you do, you dodge out of the way. Yeah, you get head vibration when the uh, blocks, when these go past that. tracks so far but so far I like the presentation I like the oh no I don't like that presentation or that one get a S rank Down the drain. Let's have a look at the leaderboards. I like how this is presented. This is great. So you score. There you go, and it slaps you. Oh, so that was where I played it yesterday. So I literally was one a little bit. Wait, this doesn't make sense. Look at my score. My score's better than all this. This shouldn't be the. At three five one. What's going on? Surely I should be higher. If I go to the menu and go here, is there a way of seeing the leaderboards? Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. We'll do another. Let's do another. It looks like a rubbish version of Synth Riders. I mean, other than it's music and it's a rhythm game, it's nothing like Synth Riders. Synth Riders is a rail. You're on a rails. This is more like uh, Beat Saber or Box of the Beat. But, you know, Beat Saber is um, you're slicing. I actually re Whoa, what was that? Oh, maybe those glowing ones like end the segments. I'm really impressed with how this game feels. It's very easy to just like sigh at another rhythm game, but. Okay, that was. Oh no! No! this game hard and intense well I'm only on the third level and one of them is a tutorial so at the moment it feels fine the hits are on the beat yeah except when I mess up <laughs> when I've messed up I definitely know I've messed up because you gotta see you see the blocks coming towards you you gotta do it when they those squares fill, fill it up you see the little light version of the colour and it fills them up. Oh, 
How's the volume, people? Is it good? You feeling the groove? So there's no, like, difficulties, it seems. Right, leaderboard. Okay, this seems to be working now. Okay, this is... Conf Look at this. I've never played this before. Unless this is a different score? No, it must be for the song, right? Oh, next! So does that just go... <laughs> the volume is delicious, I like that. So next, I assume, just goes on to the next track, so you don't have to keep going to the menu, which is... Don't try your disappearing act. No, I won't stand for that. One chance is all you get before you get the axe. Try your disappearing track. Often when the uh, block's coming from the side... Bass is awesome. <laughs> yeah, these side ones I tend to look at more when I need to stick to the beat, like the feeling. Oh. I can't get over how great the headset rumble feels when that happens. No! You're right, Simp Riders does have force mode. And I would say this feels a lot better than Simp Riders force mode. I've never liked force mode. But maybe I should play it more on PSVR 2, to be fair. I only played it a little bit. I'm enjoying it so far, but it's you know it's, it's early days yet. Um, the leaderboards are confusing me a bit. It's going to say that I've already played this when I've not played it before. Let's have a look. Yeah, look. At least it's positioned me in the right place. I'm already being asked whether I recommend this. Guys, it's been, what, 15 minutes? <laughs> I got an appetite, let's bake ourselves a treat What you've been mixing, serve it up the way you please I love the way you shake, you stir, you hear, you squeeze So thick oh. Push up and butter me Very mesmerizing. Once I eventually I'll I'll get the hang of the swings. It's almost ready, we've been craving it's our week. No, I understand. You're able to ask questions, I'm letting you know that for questions like that, it's way too soon for me to even have a judgment of that. But I'm very impressed. Box of the Beat is a game that's improved a lot since launch. This definitely feels like a much more polished game. But Box of the Beat has so many features I wish other rhythm games had. Okay, I'm getting the hang of that now. That was more about feeling that time. The other times I've been looking at where my hands go. Once you get used to it in the game and you're like, okay, every time I need to do a uppercut, 
tracking feels amazing. I just keep messing up. And I love you too. I'm curious to know how hard this game gets. Or if there's any new mechanics they add. Okay. Hmm. Oh, S rank. Nice. So there was 900 players. Man. I love that I'm getting two slots. Look at this. This is so weird. I should be higher. Great question, Johnny. I'm not even going to try and repeat that. Um, let's have a look here. Interesting. Oh, okay. I've got to punch it. I like this. Okay, that's awesome. That's a cool way of like unlocking the next area, right? <laughs> now, how do I get to advance? Okay. I wish there was a way that when you selected them, you could see what you've played before. Because there's no way of seeing like what scores you've got on them. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I asked how many tracks there are. Well, I think there's five on each, right? It won't tell me here. I think they said there's 60. Okay. If we go back, maybe there's a way of... Oh, here we go. No, that's credits. Oh, do you want spectator camera? Should we try this? Uh, it may decrease. No, we'll just we'll just do none then. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, calories. Songs. Dalt daltonic mode. Don't know what that means. So arcade is what we've been doing. We've also got the daily mix and quick reaction mode. We'll do we'll do some daily mix. Oh, it's locked. And quick destroy. 2,500 to unlock this album. All right, okay, so you've got to unlock it. Yeah, no way to see the song schools. That's a big shame. Right. Oh, my goodness. This song... It... <laughs> It's from it's from a, a website called Motion Array. This song is used in the trailer of a CybeSafe promo that I made when I was at CybeSafe, and I'm high fiving. I'm gonna have to find the video. This song is amazing. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to send this to my friend Alex, who who edited the video and chose this song. That's hilarious. Okay, you got a proper swing. Yeah, the spectator cam's good for mixed reality. It'd be something I'd have had to have tested before I went live.
Training? Complete five songs in a session. Okay. The thing is, it tells you what rank you've got there, which kind of removes this bit, because you're like, oh, what rank did I get? I like, I like this animation. I wish it did this first, and then if you, like, click the skip button, it would just skip you to your rank. Do you know what I mean? There's a bit of anticipation then, whereas when you're on that previous thing on the results, it's like, oh, yeah, I scored rank 205 leaderboards and then it does the whole where did you place well i already know where i place so tiny little uh criticism but i think that because i do love this leaderboard thing i love the way it's presented i think it's really really great uh okay i was wondering if it would look better if i was facing the other way so i'm actually more in sync with what's on screen Oh no! I like how they're coming out of a hole in the floor. Needs me to lean out a bit more on this one, I think. This is annoying. I'd like to play harder, but you got to complete it all, which is fair enough. But like, there's no difficulty setting. Ah, oh. it's quite hard to work out because it doesn't look like they're coming at the same height each time. I failed. It was them. Let me just resort my positioning. Thank you. It's good to be back live streaming again. I've definitely missed this. Have you noticed the special panels? Hit them as strong as possible to score higher. Ah, okay, that's what you gotta do with them. Okay. No losses, I don't do lipo. A few schools loose in the head, I'm a psycho. Promise you the bot, this is real as the bite though. Misunderstood, you can call me a type. Okay, so I got five lives. See it below the score. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ducking. I feel like I'm not doing it right, the ducking. It's really hard to duck and then know what you've got to prepare for next. So I don't know if I'm supposed to be ducking in a different way, like that. Maybe that's better. Probably better for my back as well. And your gloves can go through them. Hello, welcome. Ah, oh, it's always that penultimate one gets me. I don't know if it's because I'm raising 
Oh, that was better. There we go. Woo. Hundred sixty-two. It's probably one of my best rankings. But again, look, I should be higher. It doesn't make sense. I'm so confused. No, my um, heart monitor is not broken, but you've got to keep in mind it's using my Apple Watch, so there's a bit of delay. Then it has to communicate with a server on the Stromno website and then feed it back to my broadcast system. So there's already going to be a delay, and naturally your body responds at a delay to frights in VR anyway. So. There's always a delay there. But yeah, I'd probably have hardened a bit to horror. That feels great. Whoa. That one came in a lot. A uh, crazier angle. I mean, I'm really. Okay, it's making me really swing now. Okay, that's cool. Shine on them is really good. Finish the song without a miss. I thought I missed on that. Now the question is, if I haven't missed, how do you score better? I guess it's having to get perfect hits, right? Okay. Interesting. Woo. Okay, so it puts a ring it puts a ring around once you've completed them. Is the colour to do with your score, maybe? Do we think that could be it? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Ooh. Gonna hydrate quickly. So guys, would it would it be good if I did a did did one where I was facing this way? So I'm actually in sync with it like this. I'll start doing it and you let me know and then if not, I will uh, I will switch back. Right. I'll do it like this and if it's rubbish then I'll turn back around again. I love it. Well, firstly, it was not in the right place. <laughs> Even if I just do it for this song. So I like facing you all and seeing your lovely faces. <laughs>
It's definitely stepped up a bit. Interestingly enough, though, the uh, sorry, I was just trying to grab my breath. I get to see my mouth work now. Whoa. I mean, I could literally put it so I'm positioned in the middle, but then I'd be blocking it. What was I going to say earlier? I was going to say the difficulty has stepped up a lot, but interestingly enough, it has happened midway through the playlist. Um, whew. <sighs> right. A. I don't know why I'm doing this now because we know it's the leaderboard's glitched. Yeah. It worked that time. Right. Definitely getting used to it now. Also peripheral vision. Understanding the tra trajectories more. Perfect, I think. Complete album two. What I get? Didn't even see. Thirty. Oh, get in there. Get in there. Love it. I feel like that could be a bit more responsive. That third hit feels a bit jarring. But I'd love that as a mechanic. Huh? Have I unlocked two? Or did I unlock actually something on the main menu, maybe? Let's have a look. Dance it, right. There's a lot here that I'm... Turntable. Unlock B sides. Okay. Wait, there's B sides? Oh my goodness, look at all this. 
So what's the B-side? I'm gonna try a B-side. I'm guessing it's just harder, but... Yeah, definitely harder. Wow. Oh, I didn't want to jinx it, but I was like, I'm on for a perfect score here. Number six. Let's see it. Yee. Oh, not many people played it though. <laughs> okay. Number six and seven. It'd be great if you be good if you could like scroll and also filter by friends as well. Um, but okay. Okay, we got this. Okay, we've unlocked this. Have we unlocked this yet? No, we haven't yet. Doesn't tell you what. I oh, know, complete two albums. Oh, okay. Well, this album. I think, I think this is the only one I didn't complete on the first one. Looks a little bit like I can't miss. Hey, this is what you call a bad, bad. What? This is what you call a bad, bad. What? Looks a little something like this. Looks a little bit like I can't miss. Hey, this is what you call a bad, bad. What? This is what you call a bad, bad. What? Those little seem to be modifiers, like but they might be on that uh, daily mode. That was a close one. It's that red end of the tail like a scorpion. It always catches you in the face at the end. Look at it. Whoa! It wasn't red at the end there. Neither there. The hands in this game feel really good. Tracking's really great. 
Yeah, these longer ones have a red tail at the end. <sighs> Maybe that was what was catching me. There we go. Complete album one. Now we are talking complete five songs with an S rank. Where did I finish? Ooh. Okay. 56 and 57. Love it. I love that. That's such a cool way of opening new albums out. I like that artwork. Okay. Wow, almost unlocked them all now. New disco. I love new disco as a genre. And then what do we need for this? Complete 12 songs of a grade A to unlock this album. Is that the progress down there, do you think? That yellow bar? Woo. I want to try a new disco one. I love this... Uh, Location. This looks awesome. What the fuck is that? Whoa! Skips far. There's a new mechanic. I assume I'm supposed to block them. Maybe they did show them in the tutorial? Maybe not. Oh no, because the tutorial, there's the advanced, isn't there? There was no indication that that had unlocked. I assume I can't get A now after all those mistakes. God, the hand switching is really throwing me off. Actually, what? C rank and I got first. Network error. <laughs> I was like, there's no way I got first with that. Okay. Here we go. Let's try it. And there's B sides to the tutorial. Interesting. Let's see what this is going to do. Bit of a pause at the beginning. Hello? Anyone there? Huh. Let's restart it. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Anyone there? I'd like to start the tutorial, please. Parallel Circle Games 2024. Okay. Um. Right, let's try again. No. Okay. 
And what about B-sides? Oh, it's the same. Interesting. And those have gone over there, which is weird. Complete other side album with great, okay. Got it, all right. Right, we're back on the main menu. Right, we can do daily mix now, surely. No, it's locked. Why is it locked? Is it because I have to unlock this song? It doesn't even tell you how to unlock it. Okay, can I, can I play this? No? Destroy 2,500. Right, how, how many have I got to go? I think it tells you here your stats. Oh, I've got to destroy 250 more. Okay. We'll do this. And I'm looking at what these ones are. Right, let's have a look. It's probably in Funk It Up. There we go, that's one of them. Yeah, maybe you've got to unlock all the tracks. Well, let's go. Okay. Feel the sweat coming down my face now. to respond to your comment about the kite flies and journey. I was wondering what they reminded me of. That's exactly what they remind me of. Oh, can't talk and play at the same time. Now I understand which ones of these are going to make you most likely to punch yourself in the face. Cross your hands. No, you can't. Oh, no. Oh, 
I was seeing if you could hit him with your opposite hands. Unless it's just because the angle your hands are when you cross them means they don't hit him. Nah, no, I fucked it. I love these mechanics though. Really interesting. Even though I can't talk and play at the same time at this level. I still unlocked it even though I failed it. Right, let's go back here. Oh, now it's gonna teach him. Block with your forearm. Oh, that's why, down here. Okay, interesting. Isn't it interesting that it, it's only there? So it's on that bit, the strip. I feel like that should kick in. On whatever level you see it first. Because otherwise it's like, why not then just make me do every level? Back to back, do you know what I mean? Because now it's like, well, I've got to do it all in order now. Otherwise, I might miss another. good because it means I don't have to put my arms so low for those now. Right, I'm going to focus. My arms are coping good, my arms feel good. I definitely feel like I'm working out though. Um, right, maybe I need to do two more. I think that has moved up a little bit or I'm imagining it. This one and then I should be able to, I'll unlock that reaction mode. That feels so good.
What? Oh, I thought I'd messed up one, but maybe um, I still hit all the blocks. Yeah, that's why I didn't get an S rank. Um, okay. I'm so close. Is that one more I need? Right, let's... Um, the back icon isn't very clear. That's still locked. Hearing you do puns in the chat and having it read back to me with the robot voice is amusing. Okay. So this is quick reaction. Interesting. Let's see what this is. Okay. Oh shit, okay, that timer was supposed to be hit. Provisions a real test. Uh, what? I hit that one loads. How do I get less? See if they're different or is just music playing with do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, this is much quicker. That was pretty good. It'd be nice to see, like, you know, what you've scored, like having the, the ranking, so you know what you need to go back on to improve. Oh, almost top 10. Okay, this one is still locked. I wonder if it will lock, unlock once we've completed this final one. I think I need to do one more, one more an A. I like that. Yeah. Punch the like button, please, people. 
and do subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell to be notified of all future Let's Plays because I'm on a mission to Let's Play every single PSVR 2 game out there and it's always boring doing that alone so I love having you with me. And on Wednesdays I host Miles Dyer Live, a talk show where we chew and chat about absolutely everything. I've definitely pulled uh, a muscle in my right forearm on that last one. I think it's because you strain to like quickly bring your arm back to hit the next reaction pad. This music slaps. We're listening to the chat. My bad. That's an awesome ending. Love it. A. Because S, S is perfection. Okay. That final hit feels a bit delayed because it's like the final one that breaks it open. It should smash open when you hit it. Yay, we did it. Right. Hell yeah, let's bring it. This will be a good one to end on. really fast with them. Oh. Oh, maybe I wasn't in the right position. I really wanted to get to dubstep rock, but daily mix. Now we've got it. We're doing daily mix. Oh my goodness. Wanna be idols, all these kids just wanna be rival. I need 
Oh! Thank goodness it's not full songs. That second track was so much more difficult. Took me by complete surprise. I'll take that considering I was exhausted. <laughs> Although there's not many people who played it. Oh look, I should be higher than that. I should be way higher than that. I want to know what I really was. Hmm. All right, people. That was a let's play of Beat the Beats on PSVR 2. Thank you so much everyone for tuning in. I love this vibe. I wish all my let's plays ended with a vibe like this. It's why you can always, always do with good lobby music. Anyway, what are my final thoughts about this game? How long have I been playing for? An hour and 10? Okay, that's pretty good going. And it's been pretty relentless. I think I only took one break for a drink of water. So what are my final thoughts? Firstly, graphically, this game looks decent in the headset, like really smooth frame rate. Um, I'm curious to know because of the style, if there is any reprojection, but I don't, hmm, it's interesting. Might be just all the sweat in my headset and the steamed up, but no, it does look great. Do you know what it makes me think though? I turned my headset brightness to about 50% about a month after getting the PSVR 2 headset. And I'm curious to know how this game would look if I turned the brightness up all the way. But it's vibrant. I love the art style and it looks great. The blocks look really solid. Um, so audio, look, the tunes are great. A lot of them are royalty free, free or at least ones you get from things like Motion Array. As I mentioned during it, one of these songs I used on one of my promo videos for my previous job, which made me uh, made me smile. But yeah, no, the, the sounds are great. It's very intuitive. It makes you feel immersed and you feel with the music, which is really, really good. Haptics. Haptics are really great in this, people. Um, I always talk about the importance of the nuances of haptics. I love it. Whether it's the hitting of the blocks with your fists, whether it's deflecting those side bits with your, you know, um, forearm guards, or, or should I say, especially when you're ducking out the way of those flying manta ray robot things and you feel them whoosh past your head or you go through to a new section. The headset rumble is excellently deployed in this game. And finally, gameplay. The question I always ask, did I have fun? And the answer is yes, 
I had a lot of fun playing this. I was a bit skeptical when entering this game. Another fitness game, Beat the Beats, it sounds like they're running out of names, but it does what it says. There are a lot of things I would like to see improved that I spoke about throughout the entire uh, gameplay. The leaderboards, I think that the leaderboard animation is great, but that should appear right at the beginning of your end results and then show you your score that you can skip. Don't show you the ranking that you got and then show the animation on the leaderboard. It kind of defeats it. The leaderboards were a bit glitchy. Oftentimes I should have been much higher up and it was always duplicating my score on the leaderboards, which was odd. I wish when looking at all these tracks, there was better signposting of which ones you've played before. Obviously they've been highlighted. It'd be great if you actually had the score. Like if you click on it and then had like scores of what you got previously uh, on the side and then you press play to actually start it. I do like that there is a higher difficulty. I feel that signposting of the different modes wasn't that clear about B-sides. I also find, I also find that the tutorial of the new mechanics weren't great because as soon as I unlocked some of these, I jumped ahead and then I was facing off against those side panels and I wasn't sure how to defeat it. It was only when I went back to, I think, Dance It, the first one, it then ran the tutorial, which then makes you think, well, maybe there's no point in me going on my own journey and choosing what order I want as soon as I unlock them. I should play them all in a certain order, which feels a bit odd. So there's a lot of... In terms of the presentation, I think it's a very well-polished game. In terms of the gameplay and the mechanics, I think there's a lot more they could add to this to really take it up uh, to a level of you know sheer excellence. But I think this is a great game. The question is always, am I gonna keep playing this? And I'm not a usual gamer, because obviously I dive into a lot of VR games, but when it comes to a lot of these fitness games, I do think this is a strong contender. I do think I would use this more for fitness than something like Beat Saber because it's getting you in that boxing rhythm. Um, something like Box the Beat, I find, makes you attack a lot more. And also, I get it that there are A-sides and B-sides, but modifiers choosing, you know, the track and then the difficulty setting and having leaderboards for each of them, I think that would be so great because you might want to go to Sing It you might want to play these. And then you want to play them with like the mechanics that you unlock over there. I don't know if that is possible, unless it is on B-side, I'm not sure. So there's a lot that could be tweaked here, but generally speaking, I've been impressed with this game. But given the bar was quite low with a game like this, just because we get a lot of fitness games and it's hard not to be cynical, wrongly so, I would say. Ah, oh, here comes another rhythm game jumping on the beat to save a bandwagon but I actually think they've presented a, a really good product here. Um, so those are my thoughts. Uh, what did you think seeing this? A massive thank you to everyone in the live chat for joining me. Hello to Brian from Without Parole. Good to see you here, buddy. Um, and thank you for the kind words. Do hit the like button if you haven't already. I wish I could, I hate games where you can't give the thumbs up. It's such a minor thing, but I like to be able to give the thumbs up uh, in, 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 in the game. Also, multiplayer would be great on this, right? If you were next to a friend playing alongside them. Oh, I would love that so much. And it could be local multiplayer. Um, so yeah, those are just some, some thoughts that come to mind. But yeah, do subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of all future Let's Plays. And uh, I'm now gonna go and have a shower. A part of me does wanna go and do another Let's Play right now, but I know that I need to rest my arms because I've been working out and I feel good for it. So yeah, thanks so much everyone. Take good care of yourselves. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.